Okay, we went to the antique store and we found this old mocha pot. It's kind of a vintage one. Just looking at the relief valve that's on there. It has like a little BB inside there and a spring. And it's complete. It's got the filter, everything in it. There's the filter. And it has the gasket and the other filter on the bottom. <clears throat> the gasket's pretty dried out, but we're going to do, today we're going to make some uh, coffee with the smoker pot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the filter, and I've got my grinder here. I've got some Lavazza. It's an espresso bean, gold selection. I got some beans in my grinder and I'm going to grind it on. Here's the espresso setting. I'm going to grind it a little bit more coarse than the espresso setting. Here's percolator. I'm going to go between percolator and espresso. So it's probably about halfway between. I'm going to take a look at it and see. I put the uh, filter right in there. Porta filter holder. So beans up and see how that grind looks. It's, you're supposed to grind it kind of fine, but not quite espresso fine. That's pretty good. I think we're going to go with that. We're going to try out the mocha pot, and we'll see how. It works. We're gonna run that till it's full. Level it up. I like my coffee pretty strong, so let me level that up. That's just about full. Let's give it a little, a little extra because I like it strong. So I've already got the water in the mocha pot. We're going to put that on the heat for a little bit, and we'll be right back. We're going to warm up that water. I'm going to put it on kind of a, a medium heat. When that starts to get a little warm, a little steam out of it, then we're going to put the top on it and we're going to wait for it to perk up. Okay, our mocha pot water is starting to get a little warm, steaming a little bit. So we're going to do, we're going to take it off the heat here for a second. We're going to put that coffee in there. And then we're going to put the top on the mocha pot. I think you can, if you got a towel, be careful you don't burn yourself. You can burn your finger on it. Is it pretty warm? Okay, so you got it on there nice and tight. <clears throat> so we're going to put it back on the heat. I don't know if this mocha pot is made for an electric stove or not, but it seems to be working pretty good. We'll see. This is the first time we've used it that the water started to heat up. I'd imagine it would work fine. So, <clears throat> it's going to do, it's going to build pressure in the bottom and it's going to push that water through the grounds through that filter that's in the bottom of this piece and, it, and it'll just the water will push through the sides or through the middle of that funnel shape thing and it'll come out up here we got this the other day in a little, little uh, thrift store kind of like an antique shop thrift store I think this is an older one it does say something on the side of it here somewhere it says, see that, something express, I can't really under read the word, the first word and that says made in Italy, Suprema Express, I got it, made in Italy. And 
and everything was there. The woman said, sold it to us, said a lot of times the filter's missing out of it. So we're going to give it a minute. Once it starts perking, I'll start filming again. Well, it's starting to make a little whistling noise. If you can hear that. The pressure might be coming up on it. Could be. Oh, I think a little steam came out this hole here. Maybe some water might come out that pressure hole. First time using it, so we're not sure what's going to happen here. Because I saw a little bit of water on the burner. Oh, it's starting to go. Okay, we had to stop for a second. It started seeping out the side a little bit. Okay, so she tightened it a little bit. Here we go. It's starting to come out. Look at that. That looks good. Now, what I've seen is as soon as it stops, it starts to gurgle a little bit. You just slam the lid on it and then cool it off under some water. It looks like it's starting to foam a little bit. Still water coming out of it. Still water. I think go ahead and quit right there with it. Because there is a now yeah it's starting to gurgle water or air. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cool it off in the sink here. Pour some of that out and let's get a cup and see how it looks. Yep, that's for our pizza. You want to pour some in here? See how it looks. It looks like a good strong cup of coffee. Now some people add a little water to it or you can make a kind of a coffee drink by adding milk to it. Like a... Uh, Sort of like treat it like an espresso drink, but we're just gonna try it straight coffee and just see how it tastes. Hmm. Wow, it's pretty good, but it's the strongest coffee I've ever had. So I think uh, if you use it to brew something, probably add a little water to it. I think if I filled this maybe halfway. And then fill the rest with water. It'd probably be good. Or I could use it like an espresso drink. Add it to some uh, foam milk. Or just some warm milk. Treat it like a cappuccino. Okay guys, that worked out pretty good. Considering uh, that was our first time. You want to try some of it? <clears throat> it's very strong. Very, very strong. It's got kind of a... Kind of an opaque look to it. It's not really clear looking. It looks kind of opaque, you know. I've never seen coffee. I guess it's so thick and strong that, you know, it doesn't look clear. Hmm. Good. Good cup of coffee. Very strong. 